Okay, I'm in London today. I'm in South Kensington, and where I'm going to uh, investigate is over there behind my shoulder. Perhaps you can see it. It is the Natural History Museum. Oh yes, suspended up there is the blue whale skeleton, nicknamed Hope. It's been there since 2017. Uh, in this giant hole there used to be a Diplodocus skeleton, but that's now on tour. And we have this beautiful skeleton instead. the statue of Darwin. This has been here since I think 2008 when it was put back in its original position. It's had various positions all over the uh, museum and it's uh, two tons this thing and it was unveiled uh, for the 200th anniversary of Darwin's birth and now it takes part of place here at the top of the stairs. The statue was created by Sir Joseph Boehm and was unveiled on 9th of June, 1885. Here it is, the greatest treasure in all of the museum here in London, the Archaeopteryx. Now this slab was discovered in Bavaria in Germany and it's a clear transitional fossil between non-avian dinosaurs and birds. It's uh, been called the first bird. There have been others found which have been earlier. And this has characteristics of both birds and reptiles. There's feathers, of course, you can see them. But there's also a long bony tail and there's teeth in the beak. So this is a great transitional fossil. There are about 12 of these all together, but this is the so-called London specimen, which arrived here about 1861 and has remained here and it's just absolutely fascinating to see this. Here we have the human evolution wall, some of the skulls, most of the main ones have been found over the years, including down below here, early hominins going back to about 8 million years. Then you have all the australopiths, And that includes, of course, Lucy's species. And over on the right here, we have the robust Australopithecines. The bigger guys. And of course, our own lineage, genus Homo, which of course includes us. That's the, uh, the one up the top. Uh, this is one of my favorites, the earliest hominin, Sahelanthropus chadensis. About seven to eight million years ago, found in Chad 2002 by Michelle Brunet and others. Very small brain case. It's very close to the uh, human chimpanzee split, might be even ancestral to both. That's a beautiful skull, I think. Ah uh, yes, here's Ardipithecus ramidus, found by Tim White and colleagues back in the early 90s in Ethiopia. Really nice creature. Lived in trees. Walked around on two legs as well. We know that from the uh, foramen magnum, the hole at the base of the skull being centrally placed. Same as the previous specimen we're looking at. Means uh, she was an upright walker. I've got a replica of this uh, skull at home. Half-size replica, really nice. Uh, here's Lucy, not the actual Lucy skeleton. This is one of the most famous skeletons ever found because it was so complete. Found in Ethiopia by Donald Johansson, 1974. Very, very complete. We could see that she was an upright walker, uh, not from the skull, but from the hips and the shape of the legs. 
Still one of the most famous fossils ever. That skull does not belong to Lucy. That is a different species called Kenyanthropus. Now from Australopiths to the genus Homo, which we belong to. This is Dracanoboy, the most complete skeleton ever found. About a million and a half years old. He was, uh, he looked like a teenager in life, but he was actually only about eight, as we know from uh, his teeth. Uh, Homo ergaster, really, African Homo erectus. Okay, and moving on from Homo erectus, probably derived from that group, is uh, Homo heidelbergensis, found uh, originally, was one of these bones was found in the early 1900s. These are possibly ancestral to humans. These could be our most direct ancestors. Although some people think that they are more ancestral to Neanderthals. So we've got three of them here, three nice skulls. And this one in the middle is the real thing. The other two are models. And here they are, Neanderthals. The last ones from uh, Gibraltar. They're thought to have died out 40,000 years ago, but uh, some were found 30,000 years old in Gibraltar. Now, here we are. This is Cheddar Man, found in uh, Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England. And this dates back to the Mesolithic about nine or 10,000 years ago. So this is one of the youngest skeletons, and it's obviously a modern human. And he died a bit of a violent death. Yeah, it looks like he might have been uh, hit, or he might even had some sort of bone infection, because he has lesion above his right eye. Okay, I hear you ask, what did he look like in real life? Well, the team right here at the Natural History Museum only back in 2018 discovered he looked like this, and they found that out through sequencing the DNA, finding genetic markers, and turned out dark curly hair, green eyes, dark skin. And he was probably lactose intolerant as well, as a lot of people were back then. <laughs>